Just because Bill Gates predicted this pandemic several years ago doesn't mean he's part of some grand conspiracy. Just because he seems a little giddy sometimes when he talks about some of the things that might be able to be done to help solve the problems surrounding this pandemic doesn't mean he's part of some grand conspiracy either. It doesn't make him some evil man. Think about that Sandman kid with the MAGA hat who stood there smiling at the Native American pounding his drum. When people thought the kid had bad intentions, unfortunately including myself, we thought the kid had a punchable face. After finding out what was really going on, most of us felt really bad about having felt the way we did about the kid. His smile was out of nervousness, not out of anything malicious. Now granted, there are still people who, even knowing what they do about that scenario, still view the kid with malice simply because he's, he was wearing a MAGA hat and, oh, how dare, how dare high school kids go on a field trip? You know, how, how dare they? But that's neither here nor there. Let me ask you something. If you had predicted that a building across from you would eventually catch fire because you feel it's a tinderbox, and it eventually caught fire, would you think it's reasonable for people to say that you started the fire? Start the fire. If you predicted a tragedy, and you told people how it could be avoided, and described a good way to handle it if it were to happen, and it happened, would you feel good if you were able to be on the front line of ways of helping alleviate the problems associated with that tragedy? If you put a smile on your face at any time when you were helping people, would you find it a reasonable response if people tried claiming that you started the tragedy, that you caused the tragedy, or that you're really helping people just because of some money-making scheme, or you're wanting notoriety, you're wanting power? Yes, Bill Gates has been involved in trying to get the world vaccinated. Oh, the horror! Yes, he's put over $35 billion into it. Before the pandemic, he was viewed as quite benevolent. But now that a pandemic is happening, he's an evil person who just wants to make money? Does he want everyone vaccinated? Surely. Does he think that people who get vaccinated in poor parts of the world don't need to have as many kids as they may have used to have had to have had in order to keep their family tree going? Surely, certainly. Does he push for quantum dot die, delivered with a microneedle patch, so medical information can be stored under the skin? Certainly. But look out, it's a microchip, it's the end times. Read the Bible. The Bible is true. No, it's not a microchip. It's a microneedle patch that delivers the dye. The microneedle patch doesn't stay there, it gets removed. But what can you expect out of this age of disinformation and religious-tinged propaganda? It's sad to me how many atheists actually buy into this shit. It's just like, do you not realize you're buying into religious propaganda? Look, has the World Health Organization done a good job at handling this pandemic? Definitely not. Have they expected everyone to praise China? Yeah, and it's stupid. Does that mean Bill Gates has evil intentions? for donating so much to the World Health Organization? Does that mean that Bill Gates is part of some grand conspiracy of scientists and doctors? Only if you believe in religious-tinged anti-science propaganda. Oh, but it's the real news. It's the real deal. It's true news. It's the truth. With the trademark symbol after it. Are there potential problems with some vaccines? Certainly. Should we be concerned about those things? Sure. Should we declare that we won't accept a vaccine well over a year before it's even developed? Only if you're an idiot. Sure, it's reasonable to be cautious about it, but it's idiotic to declare it as evil well before it's even developed. Oh, I know something that you don't. That makes me smarter than you. You're just a sheep who believes in so-called science. Science schmience. You're not a critical thinker like I am. 
Do you realize how stupid you sound when you push this shit? <laughs>